What is up guys? It is currently Tuesday and I hope you all are doing so well today, ready to get the week started. I took a little break from filming yesterday because I was still recovering a bit from Sunday's flea market. I had some other things to get done, but now I'm back behind the camera and today I'm ready to talk to you about cards. I got a huge collection of cards and these cards were found in the storage unit that had all the video games, the furniture, the weapons. It just keeps going and going and going. There were some great things in this storage unit. So I want to get to it right away and start showing you the collection and we can look through everything together. There's a lot of cards to go through, a lot of details, poker chips, a carrying case. It's a great find and let's get to it. So as I go around here, I'm going to kind of give you a run through of all the collection. On the left side, we got cards that have been opened. In the middle, we got the carrying case. And on the right side, we got cards that have not been opened yet. Now, when it comes to cards, I think it's obvious that if they're not open, that's definitely going to add value to it. If you're a collector, you want things that haven't been opened yet things that are brand new, things that are sealed, but it's all good. Everything and anything can still be sold. And here we have a combination of unopened and new. There's a lot of cards to go through. So let's start it right away. I'll give you my thoughts as we go. I'll give you prices. And uh, to begin with here, we're going to start with the Don't Mess With Texas card set. Let me adjust my camera a little bit better so we can Oh, look at these together. And let's see. Just bear, bear with me for one second, guys. I think that is perfect right there. So with this set, I like it because it's got the tin, the tin can. Don't mess with Texas. We are in Texas. And the back of the price on the back, you can see the price tag of $5.49. I think the best thing about this set of cards is the tin can. Because when you open them up, the cards are okay. They feel really cheap if I'm if I'm being honest with you. They feel really flimsy. Nothing too special. Uh, I mean you do got the the Texas, the Texas star on the corner, so that's nice. But as far as creativity and design there's not a whole lot of design to these cards you got the don't mess with texas on the back so that's that's definitely cool you got the texas colors the red white and blue you got the joker here as far as all the numbers go the king and the queen they're about the same things that you've usually seen nothing too crazy different Moving on to the next set, we got a pack of Mountain Dew cards. So the Mountain Dew cards are pretty cool. I mean, I think more than anything, the case is, the case is cool. As you can see, it's a little beaten up, a little worn down. That's all right. We open them up. On the back of the card, you got the Mountain Dew design. So that's cool. If you're a big fan of soda, Mountain Dew, Pepsi, you would definitely appreciate these cards. Uh, they're all the same on the back. We flip them over. You got the very basic design, the diamonds, 10. Nothing too crazy, nothing very unique. Normal looking king, ace. Uh, the ace has got a little bit of design going to it. Um, for the most part, very, very normal looking cards. The thing that stood out to me the most was really the case itself. The Mountain Dew, the green. I love the colors, I love the design, and I love Mountain Dew. On to the next set, we got King William for blended scotch whiskey. So these are cards based off of whiskey. If you are a drinker, a whiskey enthusiast, you would definitely find these cool. This says bridge size. So along with, there's just so many different sizes, styles, uh, card count. Each card and set of card is unique. Most of these aren't going to be the same. These are plastic coated. Let's open them up and have a look on the inside. 
We've got the same design as the box, King William IV, blended Scotch whiskey. We've got the crown and the, uh, the flowers or the thorns or whatever you may want to call them. We turn them over. This is a nice looking joker, a little different, riding on the moon. Ace, numbers, as far as that goes, um, nothing, nothing too different. Just the basic cards for the most part. The designs are okay. They feel, they feel decent in my hands. They feel like they have some quality. They don't feel so cheap. On to the next set of cards. We have, these are Water Conservation Garden. So these are from the Conservation Garden in California. Let's open them up. I thought these in particular were pretty cool. If you're into flowers, if you're into, if you're into, uh, yeah, flowers, I guess you would definitely like these on the back side. You can see water conservation at Cuyamaca College. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it's got all the information there. California, you got the address and you got the website. We're going to turn them over and this gives you a list of all the flowers that are on the numbers. We got the nodding pin cushion. We got Lady Banks Rose. We got Desert Willow. We got Blue Marguerite. So these cards, you can tell, as compared to the others, that these were a little more well thought out. Someone put a little more time and effort into them. The backside is all the same, but if you start looking at the numbers, you got a you got a flower for each and every single number. So that is cool. There is so much to look at. Uh, on the ace, you have the desert willow. And then at the bottom as well, it gives you the scientific name, Chilo Chilopsis linearis. So you can tell that someone definitely put a lot of thought into these cards. And that's what I like to see with cards. Unique, effort, style, well thought out. These are the type of cards that make you think. You got the desert prickly pear. So I believe that is a cactus. And yeah, just overall, a cool set of cards. If you're into flowers, if you're into cards, you would definitely like these. Uh, I wanna apologize because I'm going through them pretty quickly, but there's just so many sets of cards here. And uh, on, the, on to the next set here, we got a pair of Star Wars cards and these are actually very cool in my opinion i am a fan of star wars so we have vehicles and villains and we have vehicles and heroes let me let me adjust my camera real quick i feel like the camera is a bit a bit off but yeah they're both they're a set villains heroes star wars if you love it you're gonna love these cards these were so well thought out each and every single card is different each has a design. If you're familiar with the Star Wars universe, you'll know that it is a universe. There are just so many things in Star Wars. Every little detail is so well thought out. Here we have the Pod Racer. We have the Death Star, the famous Death Star, and that is on the Ace, of course, as it should be. We have an Imperial Shuttle. We have the ATST Sail Barge. AT, AT Imperial Walker, I mean, it goes on and on. Just a great selection of cards, very well thought out. Someone put a lot of time and effort into these cards. You got the TIE Fighter, you got the Slave, the Interceptor, Star Destroyer, and on the back side, you have the Star Wars, and uh, they're all the same on the back side, but on the front side, each and every card has a unique has a unique picture on it. It gives you the names, the vehicles, the heroes of Star Wars, the villains. It goes on and on. And to me, in my opinion, these are very cool. I'm not going to look at the other Star Wars cards. But you can kind of get an idea that there was a lot of thought and effort put into, that, into those types of cards. As we go on here, these were also another cool set. These are the Coca-Cola cards. They are in a plastic case. And if we open them up, 
I just thought that these were so cool. They're almost transparent and see-through. On the back, of course, we have the classic Coca-Cola bottle. But if we flip them over, we got the, uh, I mean, it's different. You got the Coca-Cola bottle design. You got the numbers in different places. You got the, the diamonds in the middle. And as I said, they are practically see-through, which makes them very unique as compared to many of the basic cards you may find. As we continue, we have number 98 Club Special Ace. Uh, I believe this is an older set of cards. Um, nothing too, too unique about the designs. Just a regular set of playing cards, but they're nice. This is another favorite of mine. We have the Death Cigarettes cards. And these are anti-smoking playing cards. As you can see in the front, we have the Skull Death. On the back, it is the same. Death. These cards let you know that death is just around the corner. Death on every side of the box. As we open them up and see, we are greeted with more death. Death and death, and death, and it's a gruesome topic, but they're trying to get a point across. They want to tell you that cigarettes will kill you. So, death, death, a lot of thought, time, and effort was put into these cards, and I just love them. Uh, we can see here, smokers contribute to a large part of our forest fires, and that is so true. I cannot stand people that litter, that throw their cigarette butts. It's disgusting. And I wish that we would put in a better effort to throw our trash in the garbage can where it belongs. I don't mind if you smoke. I don't like when people throw their trash on the ground and litter it, especially those cigarette butts. Guys, we got to do a better job taking care of our trash. Just look at the design though. We got a skeleton here holding a match and his mouth is full of cigarettes on the bottom. Tobacco is the only legal product that when used as directed kills. Wow, these people are trying to drop knowledge on you. I love these cards. I don't have any problem smoking, but these cards are against smoking and they want to inform you of the dangers of smoking. Over here we have another set of bicycle playing cards. These are called the Rider Back. If we look on the side, it says US Playing Card, Cincinnati, Ohio. I believe these are an older set of cards. And on the top it specifically says for poker. If we open them up, the designs on the inside, nothing too crazy, nothing very unique, but still a nice set of older playing cards. Let's keep going. Over here we have the Operation Iraqi Freedom, U.S. Military Heroes. So this is a set all about the U.S. Military Heroes. And uh, on the back we have a tribute to the veterans. And it says, To all the brave men and women of our United States Armed Services, we honor you, we support you, we thank you. So these cards as are American as it can get. And not only that, you can tell that a lot of time and effort and thought was put into making these cards. We have pictures, we have uh, definitions, names. Uh, there's just so much that was put into these cards. Here we are looking at the commander and crew of the USS Donald Cook. Destroyer 75. So this is going to give us the places, the people, everyone that was involved in Iraqi freedom, the pilots of the F-117A Nighthawk. The mission of the Nighthawk is to penetrate dense threat environments and attack high value targets with high accuracy. So much information if you love history, if you love reading, if you love learning, this is a great way to learn all about Operation Iraqi Freedom. Right here we have Vice Admiral Timothy J. Keating. And it says he is the commander of U.S. Naval Forces, U.S. Central Command. And this must have been at the time. So much thought, so much detail, 
that were put into these cards. Here we have President George W. Bush, Commander in Chief. Let's keep moving on to the next set of cards. Over here we have Castles playing cards, English Heritage. So these are unique as well. If we open them up, these are going to give us the rundown on all different sorts of castles in England. Here we are looking at the Portchester Castle in Hampshire. Here we have the Helmsley Castle in North Yorkshire. On the back side we just have a very simple, simple design, nothing too crazy. But it's the front, it's the front that really was given all the attention, all the details. We got all these different castles, every card is unique. The seven, the three, the six, the ace. On the ace we have the Helmsley Castle and this is in York, North Yorkshire. Just by looking at these cards alone I am learning so much. There are so many different types of castles that were made in England. It is just crazy and the structures and the architecture and the fact that they've lasted for so long it is just mind-blowing. As we continue next, we got the special Walking Dead playing cards. This is also a very cool collection of cards. If you like The Walking Dead, if you like zombies, you will definitely like these cards. Uh, as we open them up, let's see. Of course, we're going to find zombies, as you would expect from The Walking Dead, of course. This is... Uh, this is iconic right here. I believe that this is from the first season. And this show really just took off and millions of people love this show. Every single card is different. We got close-ups of zombies in every single card. And it's very cool, very unique, well thought out. A lot of effort and time was put into these. That is gruesome. Zombie, zombie, zombie. You can't get enough of the zombies. This one looks like he's gnawing on some turkey leg. On the back side, just the plane as the box was, but on the numbers, very unique designs. Over here we have a card set and this is Georgia is Peachy. We have peaches in a peach basket. On the front, nothing too crazy, just the basic card design. But if you've traveled to Georgia, if you love Georgia, if you love peaches, you will love these cards. As we move on to the next set, we got the camouflage cards. These are from Realtree. That is a popular brand. People love camouflage. People love hunting outdoors. If you are a fan of those things, you, are, you would be a fan of these cards. As we move on next, we have cards from the Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Um, very plain, but I love the way that these cards feel in my hands. They feel good. They feel solid. You kind of got some gold inlay here. Just a very basic design, but still very nice. On the back side, just the normal numbers. For these cards, it's really the back side that gives it a lot of the style. Just have a look at it once more. Very cool. As we continue on. I have two sets of Tabasco cards. This is different. Uh, if you like hot sauce, if you like Tabasco, you would like these cards, I suppose. Uh, they are in the same boxes, so I think they are the same pair. Let's open up one and kind of have a peek on the inside to see how the cards look. On the back side, we have the same as the card, as the box design. We flip them over. And we see that, let's see, the Joker has a bit of design to it here. He is throwing all his cards everywhere. The numbers, as far as the numbers goes, nothing too crazy. Just the basic, basic design. I think for me here, the box is what really makes it stand out. And the back side is also cool as well. As we move on to the next set of cards, we have the Omega cards. And these are based on appliances, electronics, just manly man things. Here we have recorders, instruments, electronics, economical high temperature surface probes. That sounds scientific. Surface thermocouples, thermocouple, RTD 
thermistor and heater hookup wire. <laughs> this is very, very technical cards. If you're into this sort of manly electronics, uh, plumber, electrician, you would, you would definitely appreciate these cards and what they have to offer. On the back side, it's just an advertisement for Omega.com. Personally, never been there, but they seem to sell electronics. Here we have a card based off of Caesar's Palace. Unfortunately, these have been opened. I believe they're missing a few. On the back side, we have the plain but simple Caesar's Palace. Still very nice looking. They feel good in my hands, smooth to run through. And of course, as the king, the king has to be Caesar, so here he is. Just a little bit atypical from what you regularly see on the king card. The numbers, as far as the numbers goes, just your basic designs. We got the queen here, she's a little different. We got king again. Uh, and the joker, or the jack, we have a soldier. So a nice set of cards. Here are the numbers, if you ever feel like calling Caesar's Palace, we have the numbers for Las Vegas, Atlantic City, Tahoe, and Pocono Resort. A cool set of cards, I really like the box on it. Here we have another set of Vegas playing cards, casino quality. A nice, plain, simple box. Let's have a look on the inside. Uh, on the inside, the cards feel good in my hand. They got some grip to them. Not overly cheap. Basic design, cards, numbers, spades, aces. Nothing very unique, but just plain and simple. Professional, feel good in my hands, don't feel cheap. A cool collection of cards to add. And last but not least on the used open cards, we have Iraqi's Most Wanted playing cards. So as you might be able to guess, these are the wanted criminals in Iraq. And if we open it up right away, we got the man, Saddam Hussein, president of Iraq. And indeed, of course, he was the most wanted. He was one of the biggest threats to the Americans. Uh, each and every card here is individual. It's got a unique design to it. No descriptions, but we have names, we have pictures. You can still tell that time and effort was put into it. They weren't just throwing. I don't recognize a lot of these people, but they are the Iraqi leaders and they are the most wanted in the eyes of the American, of the Americans. Just a cool set of cards and something different. On the back, we got the camo design. Um, here we have a set of no, man, no Man's Land playing cards. And these are adult cards. So as far as showing them, can't show them any further, but just use your imagination. Here it says triple X hardcore. And that is, much, is as much as I can show you. Moving on to the new cards that have not been opened yet. We have more whiskey, famous grouse, finest scotch whiskey. I don't wanna open these, but we can at least look at the box. We have another set of club special ace quality playing cards. As I mentioned previously, it's much better to have the cards new and sealed as opposed to open, but whatever we find is the cards that we are dealt and we do our best to sell what we have. These cards are from Rhode Island. So someone that might have stopped in Rhode Island probably bought these cards, probably liked them. Here we have two sets of World Poker Tour playing cards. These are very cool. They are sealed, big fan. They used to show this on ESPN in the middle of the night. And uh, yeah, if you're a fan of the World Poker Tour, you would definitely like these cards. Big, a little more value because they're still sealed. Over here we have the Texas edition playing cards and these are not opened yet so I do not want to open them. But we have the big old state of Texas on the back. We got the capital, we have Armario, El Paso, Fort Worth. Moving on, we got the Lady Bly playing cards and this is another set of cards based on spiced rum. So if you're into liquor, rum, whiskey, drinking, 
you are you would be a fan of these cards on the back we learn all about lady bly and how she is deliciously sly moving on we have america the beautiful playing cards if you are american what is not to like about these cards it looks like we have pictures of famous uh, locations we have the white house we have the statue of liberty this special patriotic playing card deck reflects the spirit of american through majestic imagery featured on card backs court cards and jokers this deck is suitable for all card games it's just um, as american as it can get last deck i believe here is for all the football fans out there this is a deck of nfl playing cards and at the very front we have the dallas cowboys but i don't think these are specifically just about the dallas cowboys this is about all the teams in the nfl uh so if you like if you like football if you like the nfl you'll definitely like these cards on the back here we have us it telling us to suit up and play so uh yeah they're sealed i don't want to open them so that's as much as we can look through with just a nice set of playing cards here now as we move on we are done with the playing cards and one last thing to look at we have the case and in the case it is a nice case this is specifically to hold all your chips we got a little drawer down here with more chips we got the dice we got the big blind small blind chips we got a few instru instructions and we got some labels white is for one pink is two and a half green 25 um you can you can make the value of the chips whatever you want them to be it doesn't matter as far as the chip goes um these are these are very plain not a whole lot of uniqueness to them but there is still value remember guys nothing is free you can't just get these chips for free this is plain right here i organized them already by color there's a little bit of design to these but nothing nothing spectacular the uh the chips that have value to them the chips that you really really want to look for are the old casino chips the chips that have been used at the casino the chips uh, from back in the day those are the cards that you really you really want to look for the cards that could have some value and that is the whole collection so we have many many cards that we had to look through i tried to do it as quickly as possible and uh for the whole collection we will be asking a hundred dollars a hundred dollars for the whole collection you take them all at once i don't want to sell them piece by piece i think this would go great for anyone that enjoys playing poker texas hold'em a lot of poker players out here just to add to your collection to play for real this is enough cards to last you for a lifetime Guys, I want to say thank you so much. I appreciate you watching and keeping up with me. If you like what I'm showing, uh, give, me a, give me a like, give me a subscribe, comment. I'm on YouTube, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, OfferUp, eBay. The link's down below. Thank you for so much for watching. We got all sorts of things to talk about after these cards. And take care and have a good day.